Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ICLD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis yesterday, so that's where this red line is coming from, uh, but want to get a few updates there. And updates probably isn't the right word. Uh, confirmation is, is more so the accurate word because we now have confirmation of a couple of key areas on the chart. The first one revolving around this red line up here, and I realize this will mean a little bit more to those of you that have watched the video from yesterday, uh, but I talked about up here at 0.026 as being you know that current area of resistance. And not to pat myself on the back, but definitely to pat charts on the back. On the bounce here, surprise, surprise, look right where the price happened to get rejected from. Now, I'm not saying 0.026 is impossible to break back above or anything like that. I'm just saying it makes sense why the price struggled right there. And we now have confirmation that, yeah, there are some sellers sitting up there at the 0.026 mark. So in any sort of, you know, bounce again, 0.026, uh, that key level of resistance that is, you know, public enemy number one. On the flip side of things in regards to uh, confirmation is all about the purple line. Again, this will mean a little bit more to those of you that have watched the videos, but uh, if you have, I, w I assume and hope that you remember me talking about you know the 50 period being as long as the price is above there, the bulls are in full control. And once again, over the past couple of days now, the bears have tried numerous times to get down below there, but the bulls are doing a great job of holding strong. So that 50 period is definitely the key level of support going into tomorrow. Uh, again, the bears have tried many times, but the bulls have been doing a fantastic job of holding strong. Now, in the event the price cannot hold above that purple line and the price pulls back, next key level of support after that would be at the 0.021 mark. So 0.021 if that purple line cannot hold, but to be fair, so far so good, it's been doing a fantastic job of holding strong. So uh, we'll see what happens with it. We have a couple well-defined areas here. Now it's just a question of how is the price actually gonna react. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.